Bioinformatics for Infectious Diseases is an online training program designed to introduce students, clinicians, and researchers to the role and the applications of bioinformatics in the study of pathogenic microorganisms and their interaction with the host, which lead to and enable human disease. By passing through the layers of immune defenses and hijacking host cell machinery to replicate, these microorganisms wreak havoc, seemingly just to replicate. To learn about their strategies, tools, and tactics, we can study the sequences of genomic code enabled by easily accessible and highly accurate next-generation sequencing technologies. Genomics and bioinformatics have contributed immensely to our understanding of infectious diseases. In fact, bioinformatics tools, databases, and analytical software are used regularly to study disease pathogenesis, mechanism of interaction between the pathogen and the host, the emergence and spread of drug resistance, and the variability of host immune responses. This information is becoming widely accessible. Millions of sequences and hundreds of thousands of full genomes are available on repositories hosted by the National Center of Biotechnology Information and other databases like the Joint Genome Institute's Integrated Microbial Genomes Database. These databases are growing in size at an exponential speed. In fact, as the prices of genomic sequencing continue to fall, a much deeper understanding is emerging of genomic variability and the complexity at which microorganisms interact and affect the host that they inhibit. We know today that all microorganisms live in complex communities and not as just individual and isolated genomes as previously was thought. These stable communities where competing microbes establish a shared environment are an essential component of our own immune system. The size of the mammalian virome is actually not known exactly. Although our own cells are outnumbered about tenfold by our bacterial microbiome, the number of viruses may be tenfold higher still. Human feces alone contain approximately 10 to the 8th to 10 to the 9th viruses per gram. Additionally, the mammalian virome is continuously updated through rapid evolution of viruses and through exposure to viruses in the environment or in other mammals. In this program, we will focus on data analysis tools that enable researchers to extract meaningful insights from viral and bacterial sequencing data to understand the various pressures, interactions, and changes associated with infectious diseases. There are three kinds of sequencing approaches that we will learn about that allow us to sample isolated individuals via targeted sequencing, whole DNA or RNA sequencing, as well as shotgun metagenomic sequencing of hypervariable regions such as the 16S ribosomal RNA gene in bacteria. These methods allow us to study individual pathogens or study whole microbial communities in their native composition to understand how they can characterize diseases and their spread. We will look at phylogenetic tree reconstruction to understand the spread of West African Ebola virus outbreak in 2014-2016, study SARS-CoV-2 genomes and cell responses, as well as see how the microbiome is associated with disease and drug response. The challenge with such data is that the shotgun approach that produces millions of reads per sample requires a reference with which we can identify the position the abundance and variation of genomic sequences from a single or multiple references. In this program, we will focus on processing and analysis methods that are used to characterize and analyze genomic and transcriptomic data. These methods will include hands-on exercises on the interactive TBioInfo platform which provides a simple and intuitive interface for processing, analysis, and even machine learning methods for multi-omics data. By allowing all of the methods that we discuss to be run on the platform, this will lower the barrier and enable even those that do not have the technical background to effectively participate in this program. You will see how important nucleotide level variation can be studied from the codon level 
to study variant types for single and multinucleotide variation, where we will incorporate common considerations for accurate discrimination between statistically significant and insignificant variants at the read level, as well as advanced methods to deconvolute such coverage variation in large datasets. We will also discuss methods for differential variant calling that can help us compare multiple samples for association with phenotype defined by a group of samples. Ultimately, we will find the way that such studies can help explain captured data from the point of view of a mechanistic model of replication, immune response, and disease pathogenesis that all contribute to the variability between and within each sample based on bulk and single cell data. We will also reconstruct phylogenetic trees tracing how the observed species that we capture in our data can represent a common source origin and even study the evolutionary progression correlating with time that separates multiple samples in a given study. We will use the example of viral outbreaks like the Ebola virus epidemic of 2014 to 2016, as well as the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. We will also rely on easy to use tools for multiple sequence alignment and annotation of SARS-CoV-2 datasets, which will show us the organization of elements in the viral genomes that allow us to replicate key findings in top peer-reviewed journals on the emergence and evolution of SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. For example, we will look at the variability of nucleotide sequences between all the coronaviruses to find specific genes or even regions that are less conserved and discuss their functional significance. We will then go beyond the sequence itself to understand where 3D structures and transcriptomic data can also help us understand the implications of genomic variants we identify at the interaction between host and viral proteins. As we will see, similarity scores will allow us to find special portions of the genome that are more variable than others. And we will use this information to map and find those portions on the protein structures characterizing the various functional elements of these proteins that we want to understand from a biological standpoint. In fact, we will learn how to build models that allow us to place all of the proteins involved in an interaction and study how they might be changing as a result of variation that we found in the sequencing data. We will also see how the significance of Ebola virus variants has led to a lot of considerations around antiviral and vaccine design and discover how such methods are used for the study of tuberculosis and other bacterial infections, giving rise to a better understanding of multidrug resistant strains of tuberculosis and malaria. But these are just examples. Ultimately, you will be able to read through publications, finding source data, as well as understanding the methods described so that you can combine novel data and methods, introducing a project of your own that you will be able to present to other participants of this program. The goal of Omics Logic programs is to provide training in bioinformatics enabling independent research guided by mentors and peer example. To develop a growing community with shared passion for data-driven research and an appreciation of citizen science that is accurate and reproducible, and to enable students, clinicians, and faculty of all backgrounds to develop novel and independent research using latest technology in life and data sciences. So we invite you to join this program on bioinformatics for infectious diseases, where we will talk about different types of pathogens and the diseases that they cause to learn about analysis approaches and the leverage of bioinformatics to study such pathogens using curated projects and datasets and applying tools that are easy to use for even a novice. In this program, we will combine online sessions, self-guided study materials, as well as practical assignments for an immersive and hands-on experience.